Nearly 10 tonight, a road rage shooting that came within inches of costing a man his life, while another road rage victim is coming forward with a new call for action for our Utah lawmakers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Abell. Today in Kearns, Unified Police say two people got into an argument over one of them driving recklessly, and then at about 5400 South and 5200 West, police say the suspect pulled out a gun. That suspect fired a shot at our victim, and <clears throat> to this victim's extreme luck, he was actually hit in the bill of his baseball cap. Um, quite terrifying, I cannot even imagine. That suspect, 23-year-old Devin Robinson, is now in jail. The victim shaken up, but not hurt. Now this all comes as Utah lawmakers are trying to figure out how to deal with road rage. But in a 2 News exclusive, one victim says a new law alone probably isn't enough. Daniel Woodruff live tonight at the state capitol with her story. Daniel. Yeah, Mark and Heidi, a woman reached out to me after she saw our coverage about state lawmakers moving toward a bill to deal with road rage. She says that's great as long as they don't forget a critical piece. Outside her home, Vicki Crocker's car still has a gash on the left side, a reminder of what happened just a few months ago. It was scary. It was really scary. She was on Highland Drive trying to merge into the right lane. The driver behind didn't like it and a few blocks later got out and confronted her. He started yelling these obscenities at me and, and screaming at me that I shouldn't do this and I shouldn't have done that and who do I think I am. According to court documents, Jake Gardner then pulled out a knife and scraped a three-foot gash on her car with the knife while walking back to his car. Gardner was charged and pleaded guilty. Vicki wrote a letter to the court asking for a meaningful punishment. I thought three to six months would be a good jail time for him because, I mean, it, it really scared me. But that didn't happen. Instead, Gardner got probation, and his conviction will be wiped away if he stays out of trouble. He got a slap on the wrist. To Vicki, laws targeting road rage are fine, but only if they come with real penalties. I think if they put minimums on it, I think it would be a good idea, but give the minimum stiff enough that it matters. Enough, she says, to discourage others from doing the same thing. I'm all about second chances. I am. You know, and, and everybody deserves a second chance. But I think road rage is getting to be so horrific that something needs to be done. Now, in a statement this evening, the Salt Lake County District Attorney told me that his office presented that plea deal in this case with the victim's approval. Vicki, though, insists that she was fine with a plea deal, but not with the fact that there was no jail time given out. Meanwhile, state lawmakers here on Capitol Hill continue to hammer out a possible bill that they may consider on road rage for next session, which begins on, in January. Live at the state capitol, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.